Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie, hey to any newbies, and welcome back you regular viewers. Today I'm going to be doing another foundation review. All of you regulars on my channel know how much I love reviewing foundations and letting you know what I think of them. And so today I've got a really exciting uh, foundation which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation and it looks like this. And I got shade Soft Beige. So if you want to see my review of the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation, just keep on watching and do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like it and I'll get started. So first of all, um, you regular uh, viewers will notice my hair is a little bit longer. I did get some extensions put back in uh, my hair. Um, it's been about two years since I had extensions put in, um, so I decided to get some extensions put in. I went for the little press in micro ring ones because I found those to be the least damaging on my hair from previous times. And I decided to go just for um, 14 inches. So my actual hair is like here, is 13 inches, so it's just one inch longer than my natural. But I basically wanted it for volume and thickness and I decided to go for a three quarter head if you guys are wondering why my hair now looks very different from my last video. So the stick foundation um, looks like this here. As I said, it's a soft beige shade that I went for just looking on the website. So I did pick this up from Boots, um, Boots Now, Stocks Wet and Wild, which is super cool. Love their um, other liquid foundation. So I was excited to try my second ever Wet and Wild foundation. So there's 21 shades and it retails for $5.99 here in the UK or $5.99 in uh, the US and my shade is soft beige. I feel like in the US they have more like on the website there was more shades to pick from than in bits actually in their store there was only about six shades in store but I imagine you could probably get more on the website for bits. Um, so what does it claim to do? It's a 21 shades, photo focus, stick foundation, lasting, long lasting coverage, lightweight, multi-dimensioning, dimensional formula, semi-matte finish, infused with Oregon and sunflower seed oils for moisture, seamless blendability, um, perfect for evening out um, your complexion. And it's been tested under several different lights, so similar to the liquid foundation uh, where it's been tested under different lights. They've tested it under different lights from sun up to sun down. Um, so yeah, it should be good in photos and that type of thing. So very excited to give this a go. So like all of my reviews, um, you will see my baby little Christmas tree up here as well. In the back, my uh, little Christmas um, advent calendar from Primark that you got um, little um, decorations each day um, is what I put on it. Um, so I don't have anything on my face at the moment so what I'm going to do is put the Becca Backlit Primer on one side and then no primer on the other side and then we're going to use a sponge on one side and a brush on the other so that we can really see what the foundation is like. So yeah I'm just going to pop this uh, Becca Primer on this side. Absolutely love this primer. Um, like any regulars you know pretty much all of my reviews I use this primer it's lovely luminosity and yeah it just makes foundations look really lovely and you can see the difference it gives like a nice glow and a bit of a tackiness I do have oily combo skin for any of you wondering which means a tea so on a bit oily and everywhere else normal and I don't actually have um fake tan on at the moment so I'm pretty pale so hopefully this matches okay um so stick foundation, how many grams do you get actually? You get 12 grams, feels like quite a nice size um, and yeah, you should be able to apply it quite quickly. So I'm just gonna draw this on, um, similar to what I do with my hourglass because I don't actually use a lot of stick foundations. I've had the Anastasia Beverly Hill stick foundation, I'll link that review below, and the hourglass foundation stick, um, again reviewed that and I can link that below. Um, but those are a lot more expensive than $5.99. So that's actually quite a lot of foundations. I don't really know how much to put on, but that's sort of how much I put on when I'm doing my other stick foundations. Then on this side, I'm not going to put any primer 
just go straight in with the foundation stick um, so we can see what that one looks like. Okay, so that's a similar amount on each side. So for the non-prime side, I'm going to go in with a damp beauty sponge. This is the Morphe um, beauty sponge, which I really love. It's very affordable and yeah, blends out nicely. And actually that color match isn't too bad. The coverage looks pretty strong actually from just initial thoughts. So yeah, that's blending out real easy. So guys, that is the side with the beauty sponge and no primer. I'm now gonna go in with my Morphe M439 brush with the foundation side that had the primer and I'm gonna buff that into the skin. I have had a little cold, so my nose is quite red, so it's good to get some coverage on that. Yeah, that's blending out really easy with the um, brush as well. The sponge side also blended out super easy. So guys, this is the side with the primer on, non-prime side. Both actually, even though this side didn't have the primer, it's still got some luminosity to the, it, so I do agree with that demi-matte. It has given a nice level of coverage. It's not like so much coverage that you look like you're wearing lots and lots of makeup. You can still see like my moles um, and sort of a little bit of redness um, coming through like on the cheeks and stuff. I think I actually really like the amount of coverage I've got at the moment, so I don't feel like I need extra coverage. Um, I can also sense that if you built this up too much, it could end up sitting in fine lines and stuff. So I think if you've got a few fine lines, you're probably better to sort of leave it here with that sort of medium level coverage and then build up the coverage that you need with concealer um, for under eyes and stuff like that. But how it's looking on the face at the moment is really, really nice. So what I'm gonna do is finish the rest of my makeup, see how it works with powder, concealer, and all that jazz, and then give you my final thoughts on the foundation. But I think at this stage, it's looking really, really nice and very blendable, and actually is quite hydrating because Anastasia Beverly Hills one is quite drying on the skin, and other stick foundations, I've always been worried, are gonna be very drying. And this one definitely isn't very drying. It's more similar to the Hourglass, where the hourglass is like 46 pounds and yeah it's very expensive so it's nice that an affordable foundation is actually looking nice and dewy but like not dewy but like that demi matte so it's not making you look really old and dried out skin so yeah so far so good so guys this is the foundation with the rest of my makeup on i absolutely love how it looks uh, with the rest of my makeup it honestly is such a good find for like 5.99 pounds or dollars, I really, really recommend it. So what am I going to give this? I'm giving it a five out of five. I think some of the pros, definitely the cost, the way you can build it up, the coverage, um, the semi-matte finish is really nice. Um, I feel like it could suit a lot of skin uh, types because of the semi-matte. Um, I think the packaging is lovely. It's very, actually very easy for travel, uh, very sleek and not too heavy and all that. And yeah, I think it's just another lovely product uh, from Wet n Wild and I will definitely be using it again. I think it's just given a really nice overall look to my skin. So super, super happy. And I hope you guys all have a lovely Christmas season and a lovely new year as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.